Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Startup Company. All right, here's our bottom floor, and I haven't done anything that's decorative yet to try to make it look like a real office yet. I guess I'll probably do that little bits at a time because I, I got a kind of a schedule, my own internal schedule to keep with this series. So uh, I've got all of the lead developers down here on floor one, and floor one is going to basically be dedicated to lead developers moving forward. This is this is their floor. Everything that's down here, it's their floor. Uh, I'm going to give them, there's going to be like a little break room I guess for each floor, but it's not gonna be like the primary place where everything is. If we go to floor three, I'm gonna place graphics guys in uh, on this floor, as well as system admins. We're also gonna have our support team on floor three and we'll have our researchers on floor three. Now our research team is very small and I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but most likely when you see this video, Beta 25 is about to drop. It's about to, it's probably here by the time you see this video, honestly. And uh, so my future recordings, maybe not the next video, but certainly the video after that will probably be Beta 25. And so in the previous version of Startup Company, there was a reason, there was no reason to keep researchers around uh once you get everything researched once you're through everything there's just no point to keep researchers why there's nothing else left to spend well beta 25 is introducing two things one it's introducing ad blockers and that's gonna put a kink in my uh, in my style since uh you know only one single saleswoman but that's all right uh, so ad blockers are going to start being a thing starting next beta. And in addition to that, we will also be having ad blocker obfuscation. Uh, now what that is, is basically our way of mitigating ad blockers. Our way of, for lack of better words for it, to describe it. We're going to jumble up our video ads and our regular ads with a whole bunch of junk JavaScript that's going to continuously confuse ad blockers. And then ad blockers will of course get smarter, so we'll have to do some more work on it and it'll just be this constant thing that you have to keep upgrading to counteract ad blockers. As the bigger your site gets, the more your people uh, start to hear about your companies and stuff, the more ad blockers begin to uh, support, so, so to speak, your site and blocking your ads. So that will put a huge damper on our income. Circling back to researchers, this will be the first time in this game where researchers and specifically research points are a currency are are something that need to be spent on the development of a feature because we're going to need to put ad block blocking if you will ad block obfuscation is going to need to be a feature on the site when that happens. Now, I don't know when that's gonna release. Uh, it may be released by the time you see this video and whatever, we're gonna adopt new features as they come into the game moving forward. So I will go to beta 25 as soon as it's available. And I'm hoping that beta 25 also will fix the two issues that I've been seeing so far in the game, I I'm hoping. One, let's go to floor number two. I haven't shown you that floor yet. Floor number two is going to have regular developers, and this is going to grow. I'm leaving room for this to grow. It's also going to be featuring uh, the main break room where all of our big stuff is happening. This is going to be the place where most people come in to hang out when it's, you know, break time for them or something. Of course, we're just going to have to imagine that since our guys never move, but you get it. Uh, I also have the CEO's office here because there's a balcony here with a window, and I thought that was better than uh, the wall on this top floor here. So CEO's office got the corner office with the windows, and uh, we've also got Martha Ball right next to it. And this makes her easy to click. I've decided to get these two guys on the same floor because switching between floors takes a little bit of time sometimes. And once you load the floor, if you're moving back and forth, it actually doesn't take that long to do. But I digress. We're gonna be recruiting more people and getting advertisements and maybe also adjusting certain things with HR and stuff. So HR will be on this floor. Our marketing team will expand and get on this floor, et cetera, et cetera. We got lots of room to expand here. So right now, uh, the first floor is the only one that seems like it's being really, 
sort of really used and I will make this look a little bit more like an office moving forward. I'm not going to min max the floor completely unless I have to, but we have to ex we have to really um, move our team faster if we want to catch up to the big wigs here, the big dogs because well, $29 billion valuation. We're not going to get this overnight, right? Now, the two things I'm seeing, and I'm hoping that the new beta changes this, is stock stock prices, they're barely moving. So I, I can't play the stock market yet. I'm hoping the next beta fix addresses that. And then the other thing I'm hoping that it addresses is my beginner saleswoman having seemingly infinite leads. She's not supposed to have this. So hopefully that's getting worked on as well. Now, going along that note, we've got uh, a lot of really good leads coming up here. 80 million for 8.4 here, 93 million for 8.4 here. And uh, currently our traffic is about 82. So we can get this right here when this ticks over. That's gonna be great. It's a little bit higher CPM. Uh, hopefully maybe we can get to 12.5 maybe, we'll see. And uh, I think as long as we're able to keep up with our users and hosting and all that stuff, I, I think hosting won't be a problem because if I take a look at our hosting team, which is on floor three, our system admins, if I take a look at this, let's just go expert with you, uh, we're gonna see that we've got 500 of all these resources, but expert stuff, we, we need this stuff to begin getting better servers. And that's another thing we're going to grab right now with 1,500 research points. I want to grab better hosting gear. And I'm going to start, I think, with the server racks here. And then we'll work on getting the large racks, the better air conditioners, and finally the centralized clock rate controller next. That will be 1,000 RP, which at our current RP generation rate, it will have it pretty quickly. Uh, now, I'm going to bank up RP. I'll probably bank up until I have like 10,000 in storage. And I don't know when I'll spend that on. As far as ad blocker counteracting those, I don't know how quickly that's going to harm me because I'm coming in in the middle of a save. So we'll see. Uh, I've also been searching for managers because my company is about to expand rapidly. Let's pause this really quick and see if we can hire a whole bunch of them. Rosa Drake, let's go 4.6 with you. I'm just going to kind of accept whatever salary they want, round down to the nearest hundred. And unless they, you know, demand I go higher. And pretty much anybody over, well, 196 like that, I'm definitely doing that. Probably another 20 to 30 lead developers, at least another six, maybe seven system admins. I, I'm, I'm wanting a rapid deployment. I want, I want super fast development time here because I'm actually thinking, and maybe I'm just getting a little bit cocky, but I'm thinking that the real site, gameplaycreator.com, is ahead of this um, as far as where I want to be. I want to always be constantly developing and constantly adding new things to the site moving forward. And there's some features that we're going to be doing later. Um, let me go here. Uh, so subscriptions is something we might be taking a look at on there. There might be some benefit to uh, subscribing on the site. There's going to be a payment system employed in that as well, possibly. And when I put the payment system in place, which I don't know why anyone would necessarily use within this site, but on our site on GameplayCreator.com, uh, I'm kind of hoping to one day have a merch store sort of put in there and it can sell I don't know what kind of merch I'm going to have. I, this is all like pie in the sky ideas here. Just throwing out thoughts, right? But I think eventually I want to have some sort of a merch store. We can sell hats and bags and I don't know, t-shirts obviously and whatever, what, what have you. And uh, a payment system within this would be good. But I think ultimately though, I'm just looking to have basically every feature implemented uh, aside from text ads. I don't need text ads. And then it's a, a straight shot R RP, just gets saved up all the way for Nitrosoft Platform 2016. We're gonna skip all of these frameworks and go right to this. There's no reason not to. Uh, and it's ridiculously efficient at 0 0.01 uh, CU per millisecond. It's ridiculously efficient for hosting wise. Uh, license cost is expensive, but notice I have almost $70 million now, so not that expensive. 
Uh, you compare that efficiency of 0 0.01 to the current efficiency that we have of 0 0.09. Uh, and I think you can see, percentage-wise, that is a huge... That's like 80% more efficient. So uh, we're definitely going to be doing that. And that's going to save us on hosting costs moving forward, too, because of that efficiency. All right. So that's what I'm doing. I'm hiring a whole bunch of managers. Now, one thing I could do is have a, a uh, hiring staging environment here where I basically put a whole bunch of people that I've hired and I just kind of stick them, hopefully not messing up the placement of them. I'm kind of staggering them now, aren't I? That'll work. We have to move these back anyway, I guess. We'll have this big area where I just have a whole bunch of training happening, right? And so we'll just kind of do this for a second. We're gonna use these desks anyway. Uh, let's just put another row, one more row. Yeah, I love it. I, I, I love how I just can't click right. All right, here we go. Now, contract just expired, so we gotta take a look at that. And I like how when I click this, it zooms right to the manager now, so I actually don't even need to click her anymore. It used to be when you have multiple man when you have multiple salespeople, it would always zoom to the salesperson that lost that contract, which is what it's doing now. But the difference is, uh, and now that this one salesperson is the entirety of our site contract, I don't have to wonder about how many impressions this person's slot is getting. I can I just know the whole t the whole time how many she's she's getting, you know. So this is 87. I'm actually curious. We're at 81. So we're going to want to take the 80 one here. The, the 80 million one here. Look at this daily payment. I bet you this might even tick to a million. We'll see. Let's negotiate this for 10 days. We're going to stretch this all the way to the max 15 as our first offer. Uh, they 10.4. They're happy with it. Let's bring it down to 14.3. 10.9. Bring it down to 13.5. Let's see where they go from there. 11.5. Okay. We want to come down slower now. We want them to really come and meet us more than halfway. It doesn't look like they're going to do it. Let's bring this down to about 13 they're at 12 now I don't think we can get them to 12 and a half but maybe 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 12.4 there it is I think if we offer them 12 6 they'll actually take it let me try they do and it gets us to over 1 million a day from this ad perfect let's auto renew this in case I forget and send them on their way okay we want to put managers in the desks one we just we're just gonna hit train on all the people we put in the desks we just hit train we don't care what they're doing their entire job is training we also have a training day which is on sunday but it's only for some of the managers some of the departments and stuff all right so that's enough managers for now i want to head hunt some more you know what let's take a look at quickly at the inventory that we have and see if we're down on anything um, we're starting to make database layers now. This is a, a new thing that we've been started to make on, and that's because of expert stuff. I've gone ahead and I've unlocked all of the production, so we can make anything now. It's just a matter of expertise at this point. And we're going to need that for, if I take a look at features, go down to, is it chat system where I need this? Yeah, so the API client module requires backend modules, database layers, and compression components. But this very same thing, and by that I mean the chat system, also takes a raw database layer, compo layer component. So not only do the lead developers need to create the API client module using the database layer, but it also has to use database layers within the same thing it's being worked on. So we need a ton of these. That's the long story short. We need a whole bunch of these. Uh, I'm going to go ahead down to floor one really quick. I don't need to do that, though. Yeah, whatever. I need to click one of these managers. Uh, let's go to production lead dev. And in, within the lead dev design, uh, we want to make sure that these guys are making a whole lot of these. I think I want to up these limits. Let's go to 400, 400, 400 on everything. Uh, video playback module, we'll go to 200 on those. And then for email, we'll go to like 150. Database layer, I want like 500 of these. We're going to need a ton of them. And then the API client module will also need to start getting worked on. So we'll put that one at like, say, 80. 
I'm not sure if we'll need bandwidth compression. I kind of forgot if we need that. You know what, let's put 80 on that one too. Let me double check this really quick. Features, chat. Uh, we need notification modules and design guidelines, which is the designer's job. They're actually working on those already, but we're gonna need notification modules. Okay then, uh, one more check, the video editor. Excellent. Or should I say our video submission, our video submitter, which is live right now, by the way, if you haven't used it yet, um, you know, that, does, that doesn't mean anything. If you don't have any videos, then you wouldn't have used it, would you? But you can check it out if you want to. Just click it. Just don't send me videos of other people. There's strict guidelines. Read the guidelines. Make sure you understand them. Uh, I've provided them. And if you don't, if you fall outside of those guidelines, please don't send the video uh because it will get rejected and i may have to ban you and i don't want to ban you so please don't make me ban you all right um let's see so we need notification modules let's go back to design guidelines and we don't need this we need this. Let's go 150 of these. Okay, so our lead developers have a lot of work to do. And I'm actually going to start staggering their schedules as well. So some of these guys are going to kind of work later in the day. Some of them are going to work earlier in the day. There's going to be like three shifts. There will always be somebody in the office working. That is one way to do it. Or I don't do it that way. Because uh, I think... This time machine thing is really nice because it just zooms me forward in the day really, really quickly. And I'm not sure I want to give up that, the ability to just zoom to the next day like that. Because if I have people here all the time working, I won't be able to use the time machine anymore, right? So that's something to think about. You know, oh man, I can't update. Wow, you guys are, oh, it's graphics. Graphics are a problem. This is, this is our bottleneck right now is graphics. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, we are going to go on a massive hiring spree for graphics people. Let's make sure we have the desks for them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and we'll have managers placed on either side of these, but we're going to want to hire 16 graphics people. Back to floor number two. And let's make sure we're looking for them. This is what we're headhunting. Designers are absolutely the bottleneck. Let's make it so. Is there any other managers I want to get? Uh, 197. Ooh, that's a 197 graphics person. Get him in here. Let's wait till the next day to actually hire them, though. I still don't know if that actually costs me more. I, you know, it's a day's wage. It's it's really negligible. It doesn't matter, does it? Oh, you're gonna be picky with me. Fine, 42 then. Uh, any other managers? Any other managers? 191. Uh, that's good enough. Five grand for 191. That's not good enough. Get you back up to the third floor, and uh, we'll pop you right here, and you can start working on this stuff. Uh, I think I'll have you. Yeah, you know what? I'll just have you train. Because your speed, the this, as slow as you are, it's kind of negligible. You're not going to be able to contribute much anyway. Here's another 197. Let's make sure we get that person hired as well. Just pop you here. Whoops. Come on now. 197. You. Thank you. There's a 198 down here. I saw a two. 5,200, it's fine. Because she's starting really fast, actually, at 137. So it's all right. Uh, we're going to get both of you guys into training as well. Let's just move you up and get you here and start training. And then you are going to be here. And I actually want you to start making things. And you'll train later. You're already at 135. Okay, back down to number two. And let's see. You know what? I'm going to let this run. I'm going to hire a bunch of people. You guys don't need to sit around waiting for me to wait around. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I have expanded the graphics department considerably. There's an entire new row here plus these. 
and I'm working on expanding in this way. Uh, these two managers here have been training for a while, but I need them to be experts in order to take the eight that are in their side. So sooner or later, we're going to get them all under there. And then if I take a look at HR, which is on the second floor, you should have a few managers. Hmm, some of these guys are saying they don't have a seven-day work week, so I'm thinking that's probably the people who don't have a manager yet because of their level. Uh, there's actually a lot of people that want the 42-inch television and the vending machine and like all those other things too. So I have the research points to do so, and I've already actually purchased this server rack already. I was going to purchase this, but... Ah! We can purchase the stuff in the office that make them go faster. I'm not, I don't need to be in a super big hurry to purchase the larger racks. I've got room in the existing hosting room. So um, it looks to me like this one carries more benefits that people want in the office currently. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And then we're just gonna pop them in the office because they don't really care where it is as long as there's one available. So I'll pop that one back there for now. And then we'll put the television maybe over here for now. And we'll stick the industrial coffee machine over here. Again, we're going to make this stuff look good later. Large meeting room, meeting table. And that should pretty much cover everything. Oh, look at this, a 200%. Oh, yeah. Give me that right there. Oh, wait, you're uh, 4,900. I, I don't know why. I, dyslexic or something? I, I read 42,9 right there. Weird. There we go. Anything else I should be doing here? 62 is pretty expensive for you. Let's go ahead and pause this. We've actually got a lot of candidates here that I haven't seen yet. You. 55. That seems pretty expensive. Can I get somebody cheaper? That's 62. No. Ah, 200%. Here we go. 53. I'll pay the 53 for a 200 percenter. Absolutely. Let me see how many desks I have available for you. We're going to have to expand it, but the introduction to that, that UI element, that UI set or whatever, this, this inter being introduced here, these two, have changed everything. Like, they rebalanced all of these different things to make them more needed, and I really like that they did that. It, it means that I actually have, I have to have a really big graphics team now. I didn't have to have a really big graphics team before, so that's pretty good. These guys are all getting ready to level up. Almost. Almost an expert, and you're very close to expert, and you're getting there too. Good. Okay. I think now, ho hopefully, maybe, maybe not, but I'm really hoping that graphics is no longer a bottleneck. Take a look at our features really quick here. If I want to upgrade the landing page, oh my god. We have, we, we, we're out of graphics components. Like, we're using these things so much. We need so many more people on graphics, man. It is crazy. Okay, we, we have an expert here. That's great. Just keep you training. Some extra managers that are already going to come in experts. That's pretty good. Let's get another desk down here. I've also given people all the desks that they want, uh, except for these guys down here, which actually it looks like you're fine. How about you? Yeah, you're a little bit more greedy, but we'll do that. Uh, I don't move them out of the desk. I just move the desk where I need it. So, In fact, I'm going to move this guy up, up to the top here because he's already an expert. We'll set him over here, and I, I got to expand the graphics team even more, man. This is crazy. So I gotta keep doing that, but like you see how it, if you really wanna expand quickly, it just takes so many things. Now I've actually started leveling up the chat system. It's level 11 right now, but we have a ton of elements to level this up now. So I'm gonna go up by like, I guess 10 levels. Oh, I, I am misreading things. Uh, let's go upgrade on efficiency quite a bit there. Chat system's gonna be a little rough. It's not active yet. And I believe if I activate it, they will most certainly hate it beyond... Well... They don't hate it. Which is kind of... I mean, they do hate it, but they don't hate it to the point where it trashes the entire site. So maybe it is okay to have a chat system active right now. I would like to get comments and stuff imported. I really would. Video submitter is about to go level 100. <laughs> Just using up the UI elements. Don't mind me. 
Oh my gosh. Can we go just one click there? Wow. One click there. Another click there. So, yeah, this is the game, pretty much. Uh, I have to, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to, I think, call this episode short. I, I didn't want to, but I think I do, guys. Um, this is gonna be a shorter one today. I have some other things I need to take care of, and I'd like to start recording for a different series that's coming up right now. Uh, it's very similar to this, uh, this game here. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you the title yet, because I don't want you to, like... Going and investigating it, learning everything you possibly can about it, and then coming back and telling me how bad I am. <laughs> like YouTube comments do. But uh, I'm hoping to get that game started a recording, and I can probably get it out to you guys in a couple of days from now, a couple of weeks, I don't know, months from now. <laughs> I don't know. My schedule is so crazy, man. I just, part, part of me wants to just say, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm gonna be, I'm playing video games. It's that adult part of me, you know? It's that whole thing about being an adult and having responsibilities and all that stupid shit. Who, who wants to do that anymore? That's not what cool kids do. I heard the cool kids skip school. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, parents. This is your responsibility, not mine. Keep your kids in school. <laughs> kids, stay in school. Eat your vegetables. And, uh, and don't cry. It's, it's okay to cry, sometimes. If you're hurt. But not because you don't get your way. That's... Tough it up, dude. Seriously. My kid's been doing that a lot. It's been annoying. Anyway, I gotta go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Check out GameplayCreator.com. In fact, you know what? Screw this. I'm leaving... I'm gonna leave you guys with a feature active. Chat is active. I don't care if they hate it. Chat's active. Here you go. It's, it's live right now. Check it out. GameplayCreator.com. We'll, we'll catch you next time. Bye.